So you thought that there was agencies like the FDA that were always going to protect you from eating bad foods? Well, not so fast. I'm going to uncover a list of ingredients that will destroy your health that are deemed to be completely healthy by the FDA. Hey Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Zorowski and whenever we buy food, it's so important to make sure that we're reading the labels because we're going to find some ingredients in there that are pretty unsavory and damaging to your health. Let's go ahead and dive into the first one and that's going to be high fructose corn syrup. Now this is a very inexpensive sweetener that's used in a lot of food and drinks today. Now high fructose corn syrup is particularly damaging because it has to be converted by the liver to glucose, glycogen, or even fat before it can be used as an energy source for your body. And high fructose corn syrup has been shown to increase triglyceride production leading to a variety of different illnesses. Anything from obesity, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even an increase in amount of body fat. High fructose corn syrup is also associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is a big problem in today's world. Obesity, linked to high fructose corn syrup usage, also increases the risk of developing several types of cancer. There was a team of scientists from Cornell University, and what they did in some research is they basically fed high fructose corn syrup to mice, and they found that high fructose corn syrup actually promoted the growth of intestinal cancer cells. The thing is that's very interesting about this is that gastrointestinal cancer continues to skyrocket today. They're finding in animals, it increases cancer cells in your gut. Well. I don't know, maybe it's happening to us as well. High fructose corn syrup, in my opinion, should always be avoided, and I don't believe it is a safe, good, healthy alternative sweetener. Next on our list is aspartame. Now this one's a big point of contention for a lot of people. Many people wanna argue that aspartame is completely safe, but aspartame is the world's most widely used artificial sweetener. It's marketed under many names like NutraSweet, Equal, there's one called Sugar Twin, and then Amino Sweet. Aspartame is a synthetic chemical and it's composed of an amino acid, phenylalanine, and also aspartic acid with a methyl ester. When consumed, the methyl ester breaks down into methanol, which can actually be converted into formaldehyde. There's dozens of studies that have linked aspartame, which is, as I said, the world's most widely used artificial sweetener, to serious health problems, including cancer, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, seizures, stroke, dementia, and a lot of other really negative intestinal problems. It's also been associated with even headaches and mood disorders, and even beyond headaches, migraines. We have to make sure that we're avoiding aspartame, in my opinion. Look, if you think it's something that's healthy for you, I guess go ahead and use it. Personally, me and anybody I'm making recommendations to, I would say avoid it. You also want to avoid another type of sweetener, which is very popular. It's called acyl sulfate K or acyl sulfate potassium. It's a chemical sweetener. Let's move on to a very prominent ingredient that you will find in a lot of foods, and it goes by BHT or BHA is what you'll see in the ingredient list. This is a petroleum-derived chemical, and it's used to stabilize food. Chances are, if you've read labels, you've come across it. Now, the BHT is a preservative that is found in foods such as cereals, gums, fast food, processed foods, drink mixes, shortening, snack foods, and a whole bunch of others. I mean, if you look at like chip bags and stuff, you're gonna see BHT. This compound is also found in a lot of food packaging, animal feeds, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and rubber and plastic, okay? So this is a very dangerous chemical in my opinion, but it's once again used to stabilize food and keep food from going bad, basically help food last longer on the shelf. BHA or BHA has been shown to induce allergic reactions in the skin. The International Agency for Research on on cancer classifies BHA as a possible human carcinogen. The European Commission on Endocrine Disruptors has also listed BHA as a category one priority substance. And it basically, they found that it's gonna interfere with hormone functions such as estrogen. Long-term exposure to BHT in mice was shown to cause their liver to become toxic along with their kidneys and their lungs. BHT can act as a tumor promoter in certain situations. Some evidence suggests that high doses can mimic estrogen, which we mentioned, and then it will affect obviously female hormones and then male hormones as well. And it could lead to even infertility. One of the things that's very interesting, and we see this a lot where something is considered to be dangerous for an animal, but then it's considered to be completely fine for a human. And in the case of BHT, that is exactly what we find. Both the Protection of Marine Environment of Northeast Atlantic and the United Nations Environment Program list BHA as a chemical that is dangerous 
to marine life, but somehow it is completely safe for you. So let's move on from that one because I want to talk about artificial colorings. This is something that you see in many, especially children's food. A lot of the bright colored, vibrant foods that kids are attracted to, that's where you find a lot of your colorings. And in 2007, there was a study published in Lancet that examined the effects of artificial colorings in children. They found that consuming artificial colorings and preservatives increase hyperactivity in kids. Now, we're talking about kids specifically because, like I said, this is where you will find most artificial colorings. And when something starts with artificial, it's a pretty good indication that you should not be eating it because it's fake. I use the term fake foods. Well, that would be one of them because it is fake. It does not belong in your food. Published in the International Journal of Occupational and Environmental Health in 2012, there is a research paper by UCLA scientists, and they found that all of the nine currently used approved food dyes in the U.S. have concerning health problems to various degrees. Specifically, they noted that red three causes cancer in animals, and there's evidence that several other dyes are also a carcinogen. Red 40, yellow five, and yellow six have been found to be contaminated with benzidine or even other carcinogens. And at least four dyes, such as blue one, red 40, yellow five, and yellow six, cause hypersensitivity reactions. Look, if we wonder why kids are struggling with so many health issues, this would be one of the things that we should work on avoiding. Now, I wanna talk about fluoride because this is always a point of contention too. Many people say fluoride is completely healthy and it's necessary for your teeth. Well, there was a study that was published in the Journal of JAMA Pediatrics, and basically what they found is that increased levels of fluoride exposure during pregnancy led to a decline in the IQ of the child when the child was born. Now, on the other hand, PubChem of the U.S. National Institute of Health's chemistry database considers fluoride a toxic chemical and lists numerous mental health effects that it can have on you, including things like disabilities, memory disorders, and also sleep disorders. So there's no reason to doubt that it's unhealthy for you. And one of the big arguments is that, well, we have healthier teeth if we use it. Well, there's no study that proves that countries that use fluoridated water versus those that don't have healthier teeth. That doesn't exist. The story goes is that there there was funding by companies, large corporations that were trying to get rid of this toxic chemical. And they basically came up with sham studies to prove that it was going to improve your dental health. And so that's kind of how that whole thing started. But at the end of the day, it's a neurotoxin. Harvard School of Public Health and China's Medical University performed a joint analysis in 27 studies on the effects of fluoride. And the researchers found a strong correlation between fluoride and adverse effects on brain development. Fluoride, especially when added to drinking water, nearly doubles the risk of developing hypothyroidism or an underactive thyroid. So the reason for this is because fluoride is going to bind to the iodine receptors in your thyroid and it's going to displace iodine, causing issues for you. So completely unhealthy and I don't think it should be approved by the FDA for one, and it definitely shouldn't be in our drinking water. Now, artificial flavorings is another thing. So we talk about artificial colorings. We said if something starts with artificial, you should really avoid it. Well, artificial flavorings is an umbrella term that encompasses 700 different synthetic chemicals, many of which are considered to be harmful to consume. But according to the FDA's code of the federal regulations, Title 21, processed food manufacturers aren't even required to identify these ubiquitous compounds in the product's label. There you have it. These are the toxic ingredients that the FDA approves to be completely healthy in your food. I recommend avoiding them at all costs, and I don't think that you should be eating them. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and if you like this video, check out this one next.